Hello, welcome back to HLS Crypto. So first, this is a call to action to start with. Um, if you are a crypto investor uh, and you have a favorite OnlyFans creator or an adult star or an OnlyFans creator yourself, um, then this is a much watched video in my opinion. It might just change your life. It's a bold claim, I know that, but it's true. Watch this video and send it to your favorite creators in the adult space. Um, here's why I think they'll thank you for it. So the first thing I wanna touch on is if I can get my screen on here as well to give you a better idea. So OnlyFans um, can't just build its own payment systems and solve all its problems. So there's an issue with OnlyFans that's been around for a little while now that people are having difficulty um, getting their money out because a lot of these payment providers are blocking transactions from uh, OnlyFans. Not only that, there is issues around the um, adult content sites not being able to get when they do create things for people, they have things called chargebacks, which causes problems. Um, the kind of payment system that OnlyFans required is particularly challenging to replicate. Uh, the site offers adult entertainers and anyone a system for delivering videos, posts, and other content to paying subscribers, which means it has two payment problems to solve. It must first collect money from those subscribers. So there's issues with regards to that. Also, on this point, uh, joining us today is Northern, uh, Northern Exposure for You, um, who is a creator on Front Fans and a few other platforms, and Polly Annie, who's involved with Treat Dow, and also will uh, have both of their links in the description so you can go and meet them. So welcome, both of you. It's delighted to Thank see you, you both. Thank um, you for having us. No, anytime, anytime. It's always good to see you. Um, so PayPal is currently worth around $319 billion and Stripe is worth around 95 billion so only fans valuations around about a billion at the minute but i think it's gone up to about 8 billion now in 2023 um it's just not in the same ballpark ballpark when it comes to that only fans uh, like most uh, startups turn to stripe and later vendors like security pay and cc bill the stuff is hard expensive and time consuming to build so let's say that only fans goes to the bother of replicating and launching a commercial high volume payment system then the fraudsters will come something that's called friendly friendly fraud which sounds to me a bit ridiculous is like happy slapping or something like that it's not a good thing when you put a nice name in front of it but chargebacks from consumers so creators spend a lot of time making custom content and doing a lot of things to ensure that the the, the content is good and people that want to purchase it they're trying to help them and make the right contract uh, content for them um and then what comes along is is that the, create, the, the consumer can then charge back using these banks, using PayPal, using these different uh, payment providers and then return their money back to them, leaving the creator out of pocket, which is obviously a terrible situation. And then on top of that, you can have people like your spouse, uh, husband or wife who might not like the fact that you are currently viewing that kind of content, um, which you know can be blocked. Uh, and then when it shows up in your bank statement, they obviously charge it back again, which is not good. Whereas front fans is a, a, in a position where that would, that would obviously change that uh, because what you can do here, uh, if you haven't seen the other front fans video, please go and check that out. But you can deposit using the card, but it transfers your money into uh, USDC. So on your actual bank statement, it will come up um, as Alchemy Pay and not as a um, front fans charge. So it won't look as though you're trying to do anything that you shouldn't be doing or in their eyes you shouldn't be doing but you can also deposit as well if you're familiar with crypto you can deposit with crypto you can deposit using your metamask or your um you can wallet connect you can deposit with any crypto and it'll convert it for you um what is your uh experience so far um polly on on front fans have you have you enjoyed being on there is it an easy to use platform for you yeah it's actually a super easy to use platform i've dipped my toes into about uh, as many uh, specifically like uh, web three adult platforms as possible and this one really has something unique with the um the sort of uh, more of a, a traditional site experience so i like that it, crypto people can use it easily i deposited some funds on there to tip creators like when i first started my account it was really easy to do um, but you can also you know use your credit card to get funds on there and so that's like a really huge um 
huge advantage. Um, it, it's honestly been a fantastic experience. The site is clean. I like the functions on it. There's a lot of options for monetization, which is cool. I like that because each creator is different in the way that they monetize their content, the way they interact with their, their fans and supporters. And so the more options we have, the better. And I really feel that there's just going to be even more capabilities and even more options um, as the site continues to develop. So in the first couple of months, it's absolutely fantastic. Um, I've also noticed like I've um, been getting subscribers, like naturally people who are new to me, you know, not my like usual fans and supporters. So there's definitely some traffic um, already on the site, which I've been really happy with. Um, so I haven't had to like hold people's hands and be like, come on, come and join the site. Like it's already sort of, it's happening very, um, <laughs> at a nice pace, um, I would say. So, yeah, that is very good, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, it's clean. The live streaming, I think, is huge with the Lovins integration. Um, I know we talked about this in another uh, one of the calls we had about front fans, but I had been without a home for live streaming for a couple of years now. It's like how I started my brand in 2019. I did live streaming. Um, yeah, it was pretty much I said I can model. But I found that, you know, like sites like Chatterbait just weren't doing it for me. They take 50% of your earnings. And after a while, I just started to develop a fan base. And, you know, it's like, hey, instead of like me losing 50% of what you want, you know, me to have, we could just, you know, work something out elsewhere. So the fact that they still keep like a, a modest, you know, amount of money is fantastic. And the camming seems to work really well. I've done one show so far, um, but it went, uh, it was fantastic and plan on doing more of it. Yeah, that's really good because the platform itself is really good. It's dead functional. And the fact that they take, you know, only 20% of creators money and 10% of that is obviously going to the company. 10% goes to uh, investors in the buyback and burn scheme, basically, which is phenomenal. So it does, it makes it really, really useful and it's not ripping off you know the the creators i mean it's a good thing to do because at least with front fans it's putting the creators first for a change where i think a lot of the other companies tend to put themselves first and the creators are an afterthought but they need to remember that without the creators they don't have a platform so you know it is important to have the creators happy so um what what's your experience has been northern since you've been on front fans well, I haven't been on front fans for too long, but what my personal experience so far has been pretty amazing. Um, not only is it very user friendly for the models, but it's very user friendly for the fans, which is why they're there, you know, why we're there. <laughs> but um, like I said, the uploads um, are very easy to deal with. The site itself, like I said, very user friendly. Honestly, in my opinion, I think they took the best of all other platforms and just combined it all in front fans, which has been a positive, positive experience for me so far. Yeah, that's really good. For those of you who don't know Northern, when I did my uh, platform review, when I showed you around the platform on a uh, on YouTube video, I think it was our second front fans video. Um, that was the, the Northern was the creator we subscribed to live. Um, one of my favorite creators for, for sure. Uh, most of my um, funds that were on the, the site seem to have gone to, to Northern, I think, more than anyone else, unfortunately, at the minute. Um, so <laughs> just on a few things, um, I want to just touch on the the um, referral program. Do either of you know about the referral program? Have you, have, you, do you, have you had experiences with it yet? Are you looking to use it in the future? Definitely looking to use it because I have nothing but good words to say about front fans, but I have not had the chance to do that yet. Yeah, yeah. I'm just gonna I'm gonna quickly run through it now. Polly, have you got anything to say about the referral program or I think it's a great opportunity. I like what they've done with it. And uh yeah, I definitely hope that the creators take take advantage of it. Um yeah, it is really good. It is really good. I mean, we spoke about it today, obviously, on a different call. Um, but this is basically what it says, it's front fans maximizing opportunities. So they're excited to introduce a referral program designed to elevate collaboration and reward our creators and users. Here's a comprehensive guide of our creator referral program and user referral program offering lucrative opportunities to enhance your front fans experience. So you can refer creators to unlock a passive income. The good thing about this is it's not just uh, other creators referring other creators. You can actually be a user of the site 
uh, and refer a creator that you like on who's on a different site to come over and you'll still get a revenue share from that. Um, creators, agencies and affiliates at Front Fans who have passed the KYC on the platform can now enjoy an additional revenue stream in the form of referrals. Creators and dedicated affiliates can earn revenue by f uh, referring fellow creators who successfully start generating income on the Front Fans platform. For every referred creator, the referee will receive 5% of earnings up until January the 1st, 2027, and 3% for a further three years until the 1st of January 2030. So it's a, it's a longevity thing. You've got plenty of time and plenty of opportunities to earn. Referrers can earn a maximum of 100,000 US dollars per year from each referred creator. There's no cap on the number of referred creators on the total referral earnings. <clears throat> Getting a dry throat. Uh, referral income is uh, processed instantly and automatically paid to the referrer's front fans player platform wallet. To withdraw from the platform, the referrer needs to simply maintain a minimum balance of 20 USDC in dollars in their platform wallet. Uh, provided in onboarding, front fans, creators, agencies, and affiliates receive their referral link on their onboarding package. After the successful completion of KYC, we cannot pay out to accounts or provide referral codes to those who do not pass KYC. And what I'll do is I'll show you now um, how that works. So here's my um, creator page. I haven't done any um, any uploading yet onto this. Uh, you can become a creator by clicking that button there and it brings up this screen. You complete your profile and then submit your request. And what tends to happen from that is you'll receive an email, you upload some ID to prove that you're over 18 because that's obviously massively important. It's a safety aspect. And then once you've got that, you'll get your referral code and you can put that in um, any of your descriptions. You can put it wherever you talk to people most about adult content. And then if people do uh, join up as a result of that, you'll get um, part of their revenue share. Uh, but that good thing about that is it doesn't actually come out of the creator's pocket. It comes out of the company's share. So the creators still get their 80%. Regardless, your revenue share comes from the actual company's um, 20%. <clears throat> so it's it, it doesn't affect the creator, so that, which is great because obviously the, the creators are massively important. Um, then referral uh, links can only be used by individuals without a previous front fans account. Creators um, cannot use the referral link to sign up um, or create a new account by deleting an old one. If you don't have your referral code, please visit the help center. Um, and then for creators, agencies, and affiliates who refer users, you'll receive 10% of the user spend. So if you refer someone you know who wants to come and use the front fans platform to consume content, uh, then you'll receive 10% of their spend until the 1st of January 2025 and 5% until the 1st of January 2026, regardless of where or who they spend it on, um, just anywhere on the front fans platforms. That's really interesting. I think that helps you know, a lot. I think it'll onboard a lot of people. Um, now you've heard a bit more about the referral. Do you think that's a good idea? I think it's a great idea going forward. I mean, Northern, what do you think of that? I think it's excellent. I think you get a lot of other platforms that say a lot of things. You want to put trust in them. And it's just false hopes. Like it turns out to be just a bust. Yeah, it does. It's true. Polly, what, what do you think now? Because obviously you've heard it twice now, I think. <laughs> Yeah, I've kind of got it pretty much down now. I'm really excited to start onboarding, especially some of my like biggest supporters. Um, the ones who I know spend money on me and other people as well. And it's the kind of thing like our real true like diehard supporters want to know that what they're doing is is benefiting our lives, you know. Um, yeah. And so if I'm like, hey, you know, if you sign up using my link, like that benefits me and I make money every like no matter what you do, even if you don't spend it on me. Like if you just like use the site uh, that, you know, benefits me. And I think that's like a really solid selling point. So anything that really puts a creators first, because a lot of us creators do have very diehard fans who care about our, you know what I mean? Our money flow, they care about our well-being. They, you know, want us to be able to keep making content and keep earning money. So I think it's smart. Yeah, I think it's a really good idea. And not only that as well, it, it does it does help the creators as well and it, it doesn't mean that all the money's going to stay with just that particular creator because obviously wherever they go within that site they'll always be having a kickback towards the person who referred them so and it doesn't take away from the creator's funds so you're always going to be protected with having your funds that what you earn you'll get whereas a lot of other sites don't do that so i think that's i think it's really important i think front fan seems to be one of the the better places or the best place in terms of actually looking after its creators because it's got a lot of it's female led for a start and a lot of the people um like jordana fox stacy carla um, and Liv, 
have been in the industry. So they know the, the pitfalls that creators face. So for them to be able to like put their arm around other creators and show them a better way, I think that also helps a lot with onboarding. So anyone who's kind of on the fence about whether to come to front fans as a creator, it would be a massive selling point. The fact that it is female led, they have already gone through the same experiences that a lot of people have gone through in the past with other sites such as OnlyFans. So I think that's going to be a massive, a massive plus point. Um, and I'll also, I'll just show you while I'm here as well is, so this is the, the, the team. Stacy Carla was a, a, a an internationally renowned playmate. Jordana Fox obviously has got ample years, 20 years in the, in the industry and live gem is there. Um, I've spoken to Jordana and Liv and um, also Callum Baxter, who's the founder as well, and also Adam Lurie, who's on a lot of the um, AMAs, things like that. Uh, really good team. And they do they do really want to look after the creators. Um, does does either of you know um, off the top of your head? Because I've got the information, but I wanted to see, you know, to see how, how much people think. Do you know roughly how much you think the adult industry is worth a year? Who? No? I Northern? don't know. I don't know. No? It's madness, right? So it's it's been put as a, as a as a range and the range is quite vast so they've said between 9 billion and 97 billion dollars a year so it's insanely big where and in the, globally okay like yeah. oh wow okay i'm going to i'm going to dig into that later today <laughs> yeah it's, it's a lot it's a lot That's um, a lot well to put it into perspective um netflix is 11.7 billion so it's bigger than netflix by by a long stretch um, and Viacom is 13.3 billion. I think that's a big American uh, like a broadcasting company, right? So the conservative estimate is around about 15 billion a year. So that would mean, and this is more from an investment point of view, that would mean that front fans would only need to reach 3.5% of that vast um, amount of revenue to, to get to 500 million market cap. Now, I know this is more for the investor side of things, but a 500 million market cap, from where we first made our first video on is like a thousand X, which is crazy. Uh, so, I mean, even now it's a massive X um, if anyone's thinking about investing in the actual token, but we'll touch on that a little bit later, but it just goes to show how big the adult, adult industry is. I mean, that number's shocking, isn't it? That is amazing. It is. It's huge. <laughs> it is just in considering how much of a taboo sexuality is that people like, have their, you know, are denied financial services. I mean, think of how much this, you know, money this industry is making, but yet how much trouble the people who work in it have even accessing that money. I mean, we touched on chargebacks and even though I don't have personal experience with it, I know people who have, I mean, people who have had their, their bank accounts like taken, um, been unable to qualify for loans. It's just like, it put, it, it's incredible for something that big to still have yeah. that many problems so i think it's important to have like sites like front fans who are actually looking out uh for the creators and the industry and for the users you know i mean if sexuality is a part of the human experience i would rank it up there it's as important as you know eating and um you know it, it's a basic human human need and something is absolutely necessary for procreation and the continuation of our species so exactly yeah yeah, so of course, I mean, I'm not, I'm not surprised. It's like bringing in that much money overall because, like, it's a big part of our lives, and it's just still bizarre to me that nobody wants to like talk talk about that. It's just so censored that we just haven't got a grasp on how to deal with it yet, I guess, culturally. But I think that sites like um, intentional, you know, development of new sites like Front Fans. Um, can nurture and maybe even help shift some of those taboos and can help really make things better because with that kind of money like there shouldn't be any reason um you know for there to be like the financial issues that like uh, the creators and others in the industry face yeah 100 percent, 100 percent. i mean northern th does that number surprise you how big that was it's shocking i mean it is and it isn't like like she was saying i mean it's it's a a big industry and you really, I mean, I guess you never really think about how huge it is, but I mean, you nailed it. You can have said it, but I can have said it better myself. <laughs> yeah, it is massive. And consider as well that some countries have really strict rules. So that, you know, a lot of these sites are, are, are banned or blocked. You have to use VPNs. There's loads of different ways around it, but a lot of people uh, in a lot of parts of the world, th these things are, you know, completely banned. So 
it does make you think that if if the with this switch from web two to web three, how much more money will go into the adult industry as a result of that? And I think it's going to be exponentially exponential growth over the next few years. You know, as we go into twenty twenty five, and particularly probably again in twenty thirty, it's going to be, you know, it could be ten times that, which is crazy. Yeah. Also, I follow astrology a little bit and evidently we're coming up on some times where we're going to have a shift in like overall one of our bigger themes, I, as I understand, is about sexuality. And so there's going to be overall more people talking about sexuality, more unique expressions of sexuality. And uh, yeah, so that could even bring in and shift, you know, the space even more. I mean, if it's that big, while it's still so taboo imagine as we shift into it being more understood and accepted and you know what i mean like more okay to talk about yeah. and to participate in like how much more that's even gonna grow yeah it'd be it, it, like i say it could be absolutely exponential i mean it's such a it's such the thing is though without it none of us would be here like in terms of like you know sexuality is massive we we without it we, we wouldn't exist as a species so you, you're right you know it's good it's weird that it's not really spoken about but it is uh it is completely, it's like breathing, eating, sleeping. They're all things that you need to do. And, you know, it's it, it's crazy that it's so unspoken about, really. Um, so we've touched on the, ref, the referral program. Also, um, I I spoke uh, a little bit a bit earlier about how you could be um, the, fir the first mover advantage. If you were to, to join something like Front Fans, like I've said before, with the amount of money that's going to be flowing into it, you could be in that because I know that OnlyFans have like 0.7% of creators and all that kind of stuff. If you move into only into front fans, you've got such a, an opportunity to build a big audience straight away. And it's going to cause like, I think it'll, be, it'll do really, really well. Um, so we've touched on the value of the industry. Another thing um, I want to touch on as well. Do, do you um, know anything about the, the, the NFTs? Have you decided or uh, is there an option for you guys to create your own nfts at some point or has that happened because i think there was some there was some talk about that wasn't there i hope that that becomes an option and i imagine it's going to be um i think their first like initial launch of the site was really solid they covered a lot of really important bases they did something really unique actually i mean um, they married a lot of different you know awesome like capabilities into one site um and then gave it you know crypto and you know not crypto uh so i i don't know i haven't heard anything about the integration of uh creator nfts but i would imagine that it's going to be uh in the future and it's another reason why i'm really excited about this platform and um you know just like harnessing more web3 capabilities and more DeFi and uh, the NFT program as it is, the one they have currently is super cool. I wish I had uh, enough extra money. I would have been on that in the first tier. Uh, yeah, so. I managed to get one. I managed to get one. I was quite fortunate. I've done it before the deadline as well. So I got the gem one. So I'm quite happy with that. Oh, sweet. Yeah. Um, I know, uh, Northern, you don't do a lot of the crypto side of things. Um, but you're more into the creator side of things when you're doing obviously really, really well with that. Did you did you have did you notice anything about the NFTs or you're not sure about the NFTs? You know, I wish I could speak on that. I would love to learn more about that, but I just I just don't have any clue on any of that. No, you're absolutely fine. I'm I'm just gonna quickly run through it for anyone who hasn't heard of this before because uh it's um the first generation mint now is as uh, unfortunately finished, but there is still ways to get into this NFT situation. So your um there's a second generation tier coming out it's already out now and it's available till the 15th of february this year um and i'll show you what happens is so this is a the loyalty reward so if you hold one of these nfts so if you're a gen one tier holder then at any point you can add to your bags and you can increase your tier level if you wish to you can go from tier one to tier two you just have to keep adding to your your wallet and bringing them up and then you'll get a bigger revenue share based on the amount of credits you receive weekly i believe that's starting in may um, and then every Friday you'll get your loyalty rewards. The second gen tier is out now. Um, you can get your tier one for 250k, going right up to tier six for 1.5 million tokens, and then it gives you a slightly less revenue share than gen one. And then gen three is going to be available till 15th of May. When that comes out, I think after the 15th of May, you'll then have when it will be when the Fridays start, where you get your your um, 
your lousy points. So the net revenue sharing is so as a token of gratitude, five percent of front fans' net revenue will flow back to the holders in loyalty credits with a forecasted total revenue of approximately 4.8 million by the end of 2024. Early adopters can anticipate substantial rewards, even if we make 50% of that. In each subsequent year, rev share will, be, will reduce with the project rev share to the loyalty credit pool, year two to three percent share to loyalty credit reward pool, and year three is only one percent share to loyalty credit pool. So it is really good. It's a, it's a good opportunity to start earning some revenue from what will be a multi million dollar uh, platform. But the good thing about it is as well is that again, this comes out of the the 20% that the company gets. It doesn't come out of the creators funds. So the creator still gets um all of the the revenue that they that they earn, you know, the, the 80% they get all of that without that being affected, which I think is good. Um Northern what what are your thoughts on on the the, the share of like you know at least you get 80% of what you earn as opposed to having to give up more because I know other sites you have to you have to obviously sacrifice more of your earnings, whereas on front fans you get to keep a larger chunk. I mean, that must be something that would incentivize you to be on front fans over other sites, right? Oh, absolutely. And I'm on a few other different sites, and there's nothing that compares to front fans. Um, and that's why it's a big buzz right now. I mean, all the models are talking about it. Before I joined, I had heard this from a friend that's pretty heavy in crypto and knows what type of industry I'm in thought that this would be a good fit, gave it a chance. After I joined, I talked to a lot of different models that are super excited about the experiences they've had. And I mean, so far, so good. I can't complain about it. I'm enjoying my time with front fans and I'm hoping that, that, like I said, that it's going to be a great fit and that all the models start realizing that so they can come over and, and join in on the fun, right? <laughs> yeah, it's going to be good. Uh, Polly, I think, you, you mentioned it before as well about the 80 20 split the 80 percent going to create is it's, it's much more of a bigger incentive isn't it to, to to be on front fans as opposed to other sides yeah i mean only fans does 80 22 but like like i have more subscribers now in the first like two months on front fans than i did in my whole first year on only fans mm. like um i i feel like for the the value that's given like they actually shout out their creators on the socials, which is another cool thing. I saw um, a, a thread on Twitter. Somebody was complaining about, you know, different NFT platforms um, and how they just do nothing to promote the artists and the people using their sites. And I'm like, I don't know. Maybe you guys should look at like what's going on at, with like front fans and adult like crypto because they are really crushing it um on like promoting their creators and stuff like that mm -hmm. but i think the 80 percent is fair because we get direct access to the team we get to be like if we have ideas for for you know we, we can actually share our feedback and and be heard it could possibly even be implemented um which is something like you can't access through some of these other sites and for camp for like the camming side of it like i said chatterbait takes 50 percent and 50. so you know 20 percent is like you know it just feels fair to me of course like the site should make money um so i feel very okay um with that split yeah i mean definitely the, the site's obviously got to make money to, to fund the platforms and things like that that's obviously something that has to happen but 50 percent is a bit extreme for is it who do you say what's chatterbait that's it that's an expensive uh 50 percent yeah, yeah that's, that's crazy uh, <laughs> so I mean, how difficult is it to, to self-promote? Because I imagine that's probably one of the most difficult parts. I mean, I'm obviously a creator as well, but in a different kind of niche. Um, but I imagine it's very difficult to, to self-promote. So it is obviously much more helpful when, you know, on the social media that, that front fans do shout out their, their creators and stuff like that, because it, it gives you a bit more exposure without you having to do that yourselves. I mean, I know, I think it's even awesome. today, sorry. <laughs> said it's exhausting i can imagine it would be i know northern today got shouted out on um the front fans x uh dot com uh profile uh, i retweeted yeah. it and liked it i think i've done it for a few um it is it is you know it, it must be rewarding to have them do that as opposed to having to do it yourself all the time it very much is i mean it makes you feel valued and it makes you want to continue to do what you're doing um when you're being recognized when you're being rewarded for it because I yeah. would say that's the hardest part of this, of doing what we do, is getting our name out there. It's it's insane. Yeah, I can imagine it would be difficult. What what are your thoughts on that, Polly? 
I mean, I agree. She said it perfectly. It makes you feel valued. And it is hard to put yourself out there, especially like we're like everybody wants to censor us <laughs> everywhere all mm -hmm. the time. You have to be very particular about, you know, you have to really get into the TOS of each site, like what kind of content you can and can't put there. You know, some places allow nudity, some don't. Um, but even if you do put nudity, like, you know, but it's hard to promote yourself as an adult creator, but not like cross the line, you know, mm -hmm. it's, a, it's a fine line, you know, it's like be sexy, but not too sexy, you know, like, <laughs> uh, but it's like, but I, we're trying to get people to buy the, you know, like come and subscribe to the content and stuff, which is, you know, like, so that's, that's a thing, the censorship. That's, I think, makes it the hardest is that we're just being blocked. Uh, we have to have backup accounts. And, you know, sometimes we build up really large accounts where that's where we connect with our communities, our people, our supporters. And then just like that, they can be gone. You know, no warning, no reason, no, like, can't get them back, can't get support to help you. It's just like, uh, if that's what I'm talking about, how big and how much money the industry makes and how shitty um, NSFW creators are, are treated. It's kind of baffling. Yeah, no, I can imagine it, it must be frustrating. I mean, I know I've not had that kind of I don't I don't feel the same um, restrictions, although YouTube itself as well, which is where this video is obviously going. It Every front fans video I've made so far, they've, they've quickly demonetized it. They haven't they haven't stopped it from being out there but they have demonetized it for no ad revenue because they, they even that and, and i haven't shown any complete nudity or anything like that I've, I've only gone through the like the white paper for instance i've gone through the website i've shown the platform but again i was cautious about what to show um and even the the choice of language for certain words i you know i made them slightly different so it didn't so it didn't come across that even construed uh offensive but even then i mean youtube restricts this this level of content which is there's no nudity on here but um so that's frustrating so imagine you know going to your level when it literally is you know you rely on it for income you rely on it to to to, to live your lives to have that kind of um restrictive nature to your market and must be frustrating because it, it means you're fighting on two fronts so i, I do feel your pain there uh, i'm just going to quickly go into the the token and then we'll have a few final thoughts um just one quick thing I want to talk about as well. Here is um, the X.com for front fans. This is for the token, so investors can come and join this. They've already got 12.7 thousand um, followers. And then the price of the token at the minute is 0.28, so it's just under three cents. So the market cap is around about 2.8, 2.9 million at the minute, um, but I expect that to, to rise. Um, Bitcoin's having a bit of a, a bit of a dumpy day. Um, we had a little dump here, but we're starting to kind of go back up again. Um, but if you look on the, the max chart, you'll see that things are going pretty well. Nice consolidation. It looks like a good chart. I think we're going to do really, really well. If you haven't invested yet into front fans, then go and check their white paper out. Check out the previous videos. It is something that could be massive. Um, and obviously, you're speaking today to, to two creators on the platform who, you know, can you can see how good that they think the platform is. So it's important that, that creators are valued. If they are, they're going to make more content. It'll bring more creators to the space and it'll ultimately impact the value of the token because the more people that use it, the better it is. And not only that, you've got Web 2, seamless integration into Web 3. And Web 3 is going to be the future, whether some people don't like that idea, some people want to be stuck in Web 2. But either way, it will eventually move full Web 3. But this way, it's a, it's a nice slow integration between the two. So you don't have to you know, be stuck in one or the other. You can you can literally amalgamate the two and have the best of both worlds for now. So it is something that I would recommend that you do. Um if you wish to to invest and then, then you know that I'll show you that the links will be in the description. You can do that and obviously check out the videos. Join the telegram as well. There's a lot of great people in the telegram. They have they have really good discussions. Uh you know the market cap always comes up every few 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 minutes when people are buying the token so you get to kind of see where you are without having to check charts all the time which i know some people find charts really boring i mean i find charts really boring and i'm in crypto so i, I don't know what everyone else will feel like so um but yeah make sure that you, you check out all the links in the description as well is there anything that anyone else would like to add around about front fans uh that we haven't covered or anything that you you want to say about it I kind of do i noticed when i was on front fans last night that the pop-up came up about buying the Fanks tokens, the Fanex tokens, which was new. I didn't notice that. 
people for yeah. there something new so i know they're starting to roll that out that like integration i know they had been talking about that like you know after a while that they're gonna have like having that like pop up or it's like hey if you buy the fake to if you hold the fanex tokens then you know you can get a discount so i think i i started to notice a little rolling out of of that um so that was cool yeah that is good actually because i think the good thing about that is it, that's the integration thing again between Web Two and Web Three. So Web Two users are, are going to sign up, but they'll probably buy it on their card. But they'll they'll obviously get uh, USDC to then spend on the site. Um, but after, like I think Adam said it as well. After like two or three times, they see that pop up saying, "Look, you can save yourself ten percent, or you know whatever the amount is." Eventually, they're going to go right. I'll try this, and then they'll swap it to Fanex tokens, and then they'll use the Fanex tokens on the platform. Which ultimately is going to be a good thing for everyone, and I, yeah, I, I completely agree. I think that, that that's going to help with the integration so much. Um, have you got any thoughts, Norden, about how how you find anything you want to say about front fans that we haven't covered, or anything you want to you want to go into? Um, you know, I don't really think I have anything in to, to add other than what we've already discussed. Great, great. There is one last thing I want to ask because I, I I want to try and ask this to other creators as well. Polly, I'll start with you. What 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 was your what's been your best and worst experiences in adult content creation in general? So it doesn't have to be front fans, but what's been the best and what's been kind of the worst? The worst has been um, the worst has been being like scammed. Um, I think like in the early days uh, when I when I first started, I didn't know what I was doing like five years ago when I started. Um, I feel like I I was unaware of how many people uh, wanted to <laughs> uh, to scam you, and so the scams are the worst. But I feel like that happens everywhere with it, with like every everyone. Um, but it was just like the degree of the scam, you know, like really doing something intimate or you know making a custom video as would be similar to what a chargeback would feel like, like. I put my time into doing this and was, you know, like this was the agreement and the agreement, you know, fell through. Um, but then kind of like being like, Ooh, <laughs> I can't believe I did that. Like I did that for you. <laughs> well, and, no. um, and the best experience honestly has been just getting to know the other like people in this industry. Like it is so awesome to get to hang out with other adult creators. I love going to like the Exotica events here in the States. Um, the people who I've met in the adult industry are just some of like really top notch people. Um, good, you know, good, good time and people who respect each other and, um, and then uh, getting into like adult crypto, it's just the innovation, the the desire to kind of do something better um, and not just, you know, make make money off of uh, um, the hard work of other people or like middlemen shit, like the actual desire to do something. So I'd say the best experience has really just been like connecting with the with the creators and with the movers and shakers in the industry. Yeah, I think that's a good thing as well, because I, I think... From what I see, you know, a lot of comments and different things like that, particularly on, on people's Twitter's pages and different things like that, or x.com now. I always call it Twitter. I can't help it. Um, but you, you do see, I think that content creators, particularly adult content creators, they, they seem to be quite, they're, or they're, they're seen as quite dehumanized. They're not, they're not seen as real people. Um, but when you actually talk to adult creators and stuff, you realize that they're just they're the same as obviously everyone else. They're, they're all very human and you can have human conversations. But because of, I think the way that people are on, on different online platforms, I've seen some of the responses that they, they write to people and stuff. They write to the creators and they they sort of dehumanize them a little bit. They don't really kind of see them as human beings. And it's very strange. So that is quite, that is quite good. The fact that when you meet other people and you do have good conversations, it, it does make things a lot less like that. And hopefully this will allow people to see the the people behind the creator, if you know what I mean. Yeah, and thank you for like taking the time to make these videos and talk to us. I feel like even things like this, you know, help shift the taboo. Like we are still human. I mean, we could be a fantasy and still be a regular human, you know. It's so totally thank you for putting yourself out there. And I feel like it's a risk that you're taking as a YouTube creator. And so hopefully you're able to navigate navigate it all. And um... I'm sure we'll find out. <laughs>
Uh, Norvin, have you got any best and worst experiences? Um, no, I think what you're saying, uh, both of you are saying is 100% correct. Like, I think a lot of people just doing stuff like this, a lot of people don't see us as, they see us as robots. Like, we're mm. there for one thing. Like, they don't see us as a, a person or like, this is what we're doing for income. Um, but I would say... I think for me, the struggle, and not just for me, I would say any creator that's doing this, the the main struggle is just getting your face out there, getting in front of your fans um, because you're being shut down left left and right, you know? So just staying staying in front of everybody. So get your name out there. Yeah. It's probably the that. hardest thing. <laughs> yeah, it must be. It must be. Uh, uh, what's, your, what's your favorite part of creating, uh, being a content creator? Oh, gosh. Creator? Uh, be back off of what she was saying. I think just getting to know other creators has been absolutely amazing to get to know like what kind of struggles they have, um, how they go about their their daily, you know, work every day and getting to know their fans. And yeah, it's it's incredible. There's just so many other models out there going through the exact same thing we're going through. So to be able to share that and talk through that is is pretty it's pretty nice. Yeah, yeah, it must be. It must be. Uh, so I'll stop sharing my screen now because uh, there's nothing left to cover on the actual uh, site there. So, yeah, I just want to take this opportunity to thank you both for 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 joining joining us today. Um, this video will be out this evening, so it'd be great to 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 get it out there and, and see what people think. Um, nice. Polly, thank you very much for for being here. I really appreciate it, and um, great work, and obviously with with Treat Dow as well. Um, but again, I'll I'll link everything in the description. Um, Northern, obviously, thank you very much your time you. uh, it's been nice to see you and um yeah so um I'll, I'll end the video there please if you can drop a like on this video it really does help the channel subscriber wise we're so close now we're about two away from 3200 subscribers so it's going up really fast the channel is six months old in nine days so it's been rapid growth so i appreciate everyone who subscribed and taking the time to do that comment below what you think of, of fan x and the front fans platform let me know what price predictions you've got in the comments as well uh, I'm always interested to see what you say and potentially argue with you a little bit in the comments as well. Never know. Um, thank you very much. Take it easy. Goodbye.